I'm going to take you guys through a tour of all the food I currently have in my house. This will help you understand how I obtain all the vitamins and minerals my body needs in addition to what I do to improve the nutrient status of my family's diet. So real quick, the non-perishables in the cabinets. I have some salts here, some iodine supplements. Down here, some more salt, some iodine supplements. There's actually some fermentation starters here. I, I have some wild rice. I have some einkorn wheat flour, uh, just some cooking fats as well. There's also some more einkorn wheat flour here. Einkorn is the first strain of wheat that ever existed. Uh, this is some beef belly that I'm going to eat today. And here I have some some beef brain drying off before I pan sear it. These are farm fresh pastured eggs, soy free, prohibitively expensive. These are like $8 a dozen, uh, but this is what I feed to my family. This is my family's fridge, although I do have some stuff in here from time to time, as you can see by the rest of that beef brain. Uh, my sister is mentally disabled, so I try to prepare meals for her and have a regimented routine. You know, she takes this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for a snack. Uh, usually she has uh, pastured eggs with raw butter and raw cheese for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, here we have some uh, bologna rolled up straight from the farm. Just some some cold cuts rolled up. And her snack is uh, raw Parmigiano cheese with some liver pate. Uh, up here is Frankie's grilled chicken. Uh, we might be selling that soon. Uh, here I have some plantains. Uh, very, very cheap and affordable and incredibly tasty way to get nutrients. I just took the plantains, put them on a sheet pan, and cooked them with some butter. Back there are actually some muffins. Th that's my secret chocolate chip muffin recipe. Maybe I'll share that with you guys uh, in the future. Uh, here is some raw cream. Uh, these are pretty expensive too, $15 a quart. But this is just raw, heavy cream straight from the farm. Uh, my mother eats this as a snack. It's a super nutrient-dense, low-carb way to have energy. Uh, back here is just some steak that I'm going to cook for my family. Uh, this is the liver pate in the container. And this is a bowl of beef stew. This has been my sister's dinner for the past week and a half. So what I do for this stew is I take some beef, I make a beef stock, and then I take that beef stock, I put some fresh meat in it, and then that is going to be the soup base. In addition to that soup base with the meat, I add some egg yolks. So I scramble some egg yolks and I add them to the soup raw. I also add some raw cheese and sometimes I even add some raw cream. So essentially we have a very, very nutrient dense, highly satiating, incredibly tasty source of sustenance that's very approachable. It has this rich beefy flavor. It has that almost slight eggy cholesterolness that adds some texture to it. You have the raw cream adding more richness and the Parmesan cheese adds salt, umami. It's really an amazing and approachable way and it shows how you can really be creative with your nutrient density when preparing certain foods for people. Here are some crab cakes I made for my family. All I did was take some lump crab meat, mix it with butter, egg yolks, and Dijon mustard and I put it in some muffin tins and baked it in the oven. Uh, this is some raw milk I just bought for my dad. I also use the raw milk to marinate liver sometimes. Uh, this is just water for my family. Uh, in the back there, I have some chicken liver. I've been giving my father chicken liver to increase his vitamin B content. He's been uh, deficient in vitamin B12. Uh, down here, just some cheeses. Uh, I also have some raw Parmesan cheese somewhere in here too. And on the fridge door here is some raw butter. Sometimes I do use Kerrygold for cooking, uh, but if I can, and it's not too much butter in a recipe, I do use the raw butter. Most of the stuff in the freezer up here is my parents' low quality meat, but I bought them some vanilla ice cream from the farm. It's raw cream, raw milk, honey, butter, vanilla bean powder, egg yolks, Celtic sea salt. Super delicious, tasty, way easier than making it myself, and it's not too expensive. That's the, the muffin I spoke about earlier that I made for my dad. But if you look at the color of the muffin, it looks dark brown like it's a whole wheat muffin, but that's actually from the nutrient density of the food products used. Since the egg yolks, the butter, all the ingredients we put in it are raw and high quality, it adds like a dark orangey tinge to the muffin. So this is the fridge downstairs. I have a bunch of navel beef belly. I have some brisket here. And then up here, this is a giant bag of beef fat. 
Uh, not really much to see here, just some really fatty, fresh, grass-fed meat. So all of the meat in the freezer down here is what I serve to my sister primarily. All of the beef is grass-fed. The pork is milk-fed, which means it's much lower in omega-6 and higher in nutrients. Uh, the chicken livers and hearts here are actually for my father, but everything else is my sister's. So this is pork ham. It's sliced thin. It's raw. I take it. I put it in a pan, add some salt to it. Uh, then you can have that on its own, add it to eggs, a bunch of different applications. Uh, the pork chops here, I usually marinate them, throw them on the grill, serve them for dinner. Uh, we have some bacon ends here. Uh, the bacon I use to get my sister to eat steak, so she eats pieces of bacon with the steak, or I just scramble the bacon with some eggs. Uh, hot dogs, self-explanatory, uh, make hot dogs approachable with higher quality meat. A great way to get nutrients in a young person's diet that doesn't really like eating meat. Uh, this is some bologna, same principle, something very approachable. I just take it, I roll it up, throw it in a container, and she eats it for lunch on its own. Uh, there's some liverwurst back there. My dad likes liverwurst, and when I don't have liver pate, I give my sister liverwurst. Uh, the sweet Italian sausages, slice them up, put them in containers for her lunch. Just a bunch of really tasty, high quality animal foods that are approachable that she enjoys eating. Otherwise, you know, she wouldn't be eating protein. And just to give you guys an idea of the hygiene products that I will be offering in the future, the quality of the ingredients I use is absolutely crazy. Uh, here we have some deep yellow shea butter from Africa. I got some emu oil from down under, super high quality expensive stuff. Everything that goes into my hygiene products is the highest quality possible. I render all of the B fat myself. Speaking of B fat, here I actually have some fermenting B fat, some high meat. And I graded each of these by the quality of the fat. So um, here we have Q plus, some higher quality yellow B fat. Uh, this fermentation just started yesterday, so uh, maybe I'll keep you guys posted on this. Hopefully this gives you guys an idea of the amount of effort, time, and money I put into my diet as well as my family's diet to ensure we are healthy. If you guys would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video. Down below is my Amazon shop where you will find things like cookware, salts, products I use in my day-to-day -day life that you've seen in this video. Patreon is a great way to support me as well as get one-on-one -on -one personalized question support. And hey, maybe Frankie Boy won't have to work three jobs anymore. I'm on Twitter, guys. I'm on Instagram. Uh, we do have carnivoreform.com that we recently started as well as the Perfected Health Podcast. All of that stuff, guys, you can find on my channel as well as in the comments of this video. If you do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, possibly in regards to food sourcing in general, in regards to improving your overall health, you can send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com or reach out to me on the contact form on my website below, frank-tufano.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your week.